One more game that I thought uh, was fun is The Pig and the Piglet. So this is uh, from The Selfish Gene book by Richard Dawkins. And uh, this is an experiment they did. They took uh, a big pig, which I'm drawing here, and uh, a little piglet. He's little. You know, that's a little pig, piglet. And I put him in a cage in a room like that. And one side of the room was this little lever that the pigs could uh, press. And uh, when they did so, then a tiny little bit of food would come out in the other side of the room, right over here. Right. And the situation was that, you know, either one of them could press the lever. And then, of course, they had to run all the way back over here to eat the food and come back over here. And, uh, of course, the problem is that the big pig, he pushes the little piglet away, right? So he's, uh, you know, bigger, and he can do that. Oh, sorry. And uh, so let's set up the payoffs for this game. So when you told that story, you sort of, the tendency for us is to think, okay, you know, the big pig is going to get all the food, right? He's going to press the lever, get the food, that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you work it out, it works out a little bit different. And they actually did the experiment, as I understand it, and uh, it did work out differently. Here's the pig over here. And uh, their actions are going to be, you know, you can either do nothing or you can press the lever. So that's going to be N for nothing, P for present, no nothing nothing and press so if they both do nothing we can say okay they're gonna get zero each because uh, there's no food coming out right nobody gets any food if the piglet does nothing and the big pig presses the lever then what happened is you know the piglet does nothing so that means that the piglet is gonna be over here and uh, the pig has to go all the way here, press the lever, the food immediately comes out, and then the big pig, he's big and fat and slow, so it takes him a while to get to here, so the little piglet, he can eat quite a bit of food. So let's say he eat about five units of food, so that's good for him. Uh, but eventually the big pig gets there, shoves him away, and eats the little bit of food that's left. Okay, uh, let's... Look at this one here, the piglet presses the lever, so the big piglet is over here, then tries to run over here and get some food, but yeah, you see what happens there is uh, he's not going to get any food, and actually he had to press the lever and run all the way, so we'll say that his pay is negative one. Because not only did he not get any food, he had to run all the way, and the big pig got all the six bits of food, and so I guess there were six bits of food. Um, okay. And then lastly, the piglet presses, and then both both of them press the lever and run all the way back. The little pig is faster, so he's going to get there a little bit faster, and he's going to manage to eat one little piece of food. And then the big pig is going to eat everything else. Okay, so what is the social welfare solution to this game? Social welfare... Uh, we add them up, 5, 1, 5, 1. Both of these are social welfare solutions, right? So, N, P, N, P, P, N, P, and P, P are both social welfare solutions because they maximize the sum of everybody's payups, or 6. This one is 5, this one is 0. Uh, Pareto optimal solutions. Pareto one solution is such that there's no other solution or one does better nobody does worse if you look at this one is that a Pareto optimal solution uh yes is there a solution where one is there some other solution where one does better and nobody does worse um no because this one this guy uh does six yeah so there is no other solution where the pig can do better um, there's some other solutions where the piglet can do better, uh, all of them, but in all of them, the pig uh, goes down from six, so there is no other better solution. Uh, so that's not Pareto. This is not Pareto, obviously, because you know this one is there. And uh, what about these two here? Uh, these Pareto, 
Well, yes. Uh, so if the piglet does nothing, you know, uh, if you look at this one, we can say, is there another one where one does better and nobody does worse? Uh, there isn't, right? So, you know, this one, and if you go down here, you know, this one, the pig does worse. If you go down here, the pig piglet does worse. If you go down here, both of them do worse. So, and similarly for the other one, so we have the same issue, the same situation where both of those are Pareto optimal. Uh, what about the Nash equilibrium? Is there a Nash equilibrium? Uh, well, uh, the solution is a Nash equilibrium. If given that everybody does the Nash equilibrium, everybody's uh, best response is to also do that same Nash equilibrium. So let's look at this one. Nothing, nothing. If the pig does nothing, then the piglet should do nothing. Um, the pig is looking at that. So that's good. Uh, but if the piglet does nothing, the pig's best option is to press because it goes from zero to one. So, okay, that's not a Nash equilibrium. Let's look at this one in this case. If the pig uh, does nothing, uh, again, the piglet is going to want to go do nothing. So that's not a Nash equilibrium. So let's look at this one. Is this a Nash equilibrium? If the pig does the press, right? The piglet is left between five and one. He's wanting to also do nothing. So that's good. If the piglet does nothing, the pig is looking between zero and one. So he's going to want to press. So that's good. So that's a Nash equilibrium. Right, and P, and let's look at this one. If the pig presses, then the piglet is looking at either five or one. Um, and uh, if the pig does the press, he looks at five or one, right? And so you see that this is not a Nash equilibrium, right? So the pig presses, the piglet says, uh, I'm going to go with nothing. So I'm going to go back up here to NP. So only this one is Nash equilibrium. NP is a Nash equilibrium. And if you look at it, uh, you can then uh, also look at dominant strategies. Uh, if you look at the piglet, does the piglet have a dominant strategy? Uh, well, he does, actually. N is a dominant strategy for the piglet. So N is a dominant strategy for the piglet, right? So 0 is bigger than minus 1. 5 is bigger than 1. And also, um, so once you do that, then the pig is left with between 0 and 1. And by iterated dominance, you can say, you know, well, obviously 1 is bigger than 0, so he is going to press. So N, P is also uh, in, a, in the, the uh, iterated dominant iterated dominant solution uh, so that is what happens in fact in the real world if you do this the little piglet stays over here by the food eating on the food and the big pig you know he ends up running over here pressing the lever and running back and forth and you know, building up uh, a sweat.